Here we have it, the little Egmont, Egmont, amp made in uh, Holland in the early 60s. And uh, we'll be taking the back panel off in a second and uh, see what's under the hood. Let's first. Okay. Pop. Okay. Let's have a proper look. Okay, this is interesting. Power transformer seems to be original. Potted in black. Painted black, as they said. And most of this seems to be original. Except for the input jacks, which are plastic types. And then I'm beginning to suspect that uh, these two mixing resistors might be non-original as well. At, the, at one point these two input jacks got replaced. Filter cap is the original one. Output transformer, a very tiny one. But this amp at only less than 5 watts doesn't need much. It's two uh, 50 microfarad caps rated at 350 volts. And I'm thinking that the production date for this capacitor was uh, like August of 1960. And if we take a closer look at the speaker, it was probably made in uh, 62. And the whole amp, at least the electronics, were made by uh, Philips. I think uh, the little uh, enclosure in wood is probably made by Egmont itself, but uh, not so for the electronics. But in order to inspect the circuit any further, we need to take out the whole chassis here, there, and down here. And here, and then lift it out. See what it's, see what's underneath the chassis because most of the components will be underneath here. Well, dirt bird construction, and it's uh, mustard cap bonanza. As far as uh, this is concerned, and you see that uh, like very modern looking like uh, 
it's not carbon comp, it's carbon film resistors, but they really existed in the six, early 60s. I think this is probably 63. Um, they were invented by, I think, a company called Erie in, uh, in the 50s, late 50s. But this, I hadn't expected to see this kind of beauty. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mustard caps and uh, I don't know what types are these they probably have a date code on them but I don't think there's been much uh, that's changed to the amp except for the input jacks I cannot believe they uh, they had the plastics ones in 63 Okay, I marked the polarity of the speaker on the cone, also on the leads leading out into the output transformer, so that uh, I can easily uh, put it back again. But I want to unhook or unsolder uh, the wires from the speaker just to measure the speaker uh, by itself, and maybe put in a jack connection and so that it's possible to connect the bigger speaker to this amp uh, which i am very uh, eager to try i will trace out the whole circuit um i've made some pictures uh this is the preamp tube and um the whole problem with these beautiful knobs is that both volumes control volume controls are in front of the amp so it's like an additional uh, volume knob on your guitar and it's not in any way it's just in front of the amp so it's completely useless I always turn it up all the way when I play the amp so uh, that's not the best solution so signal comes in goes to the po volume pods there's bleed on the tremble on the tone control which is also passive and before the circuit and then it goes into this preamp tube and it's very strange that they mounted it here in the middle this is the pre preamp tube uh, this is the uh, output tube and this is the rectifier I think um, these 74 uh, nano capacitors probably make up the uh, tremolo circuit okay measuring simple dc resistance uh, on the speaker to get some idea of the impedance of the speaker i get 5.2 ohms which seems to indicate that the speaker is a little over 5 ohms uh, like a 6 ohm speaker i don't know there's not really anything on the speaker that gives some indication even though I found another date code here and it seems to say like like 61 I don't know I could look up the type because it's probably a, a Philips speaker so again here are the two input jacks who uh, each lead into uh, their own volume pot these are 500k and uh, from these pots, the output from the pots is uh, the output from the pots just is mixed together using these mixing resistors <coughs> into some shielded wiring that leads into the grid. So that's 180k. These mixing resistors. Uh, the tremolo pot is. Um, let me see. This one the tremolo pot is one meg. The tone pot is 500k. The tone pot is um, bleeding off signal simply from uh, connecting to the end of the mixing resistors here. So it's all this is passive circuitry in front of the amp before the signal goes into the grid of the first uh, tube, the preamp tube, the only preamp tube. I did notice that the 
grounding on the second input is loose. <laughs> so we'll we will fix that while the the iron is still hot. Okay, I traced out most of the circuits, most of the circuit, and uh, what's basically going on in the power section is that the rectifier tube is receiving like 240 volts AC and giving us 300 volts DC, and then it goes to the power rail. We get a, a 32 microfarad cap to ground, and then we have the filter section with 1K. And then at this node, this feeds to the uh, power tube. Then we have a 47K. And then there is another capped ground, which is this big thing here, as like a sort of last filtering stage. And then there is a 680K resistor serving as a plate resistor for the 12AX7 for the amplifying part. This is very strange. I've never seen a plate resistor this value. It's usually 100K for these kind of preamp tubes, sometimes 220K. So if we look at the voltages, we got 300 coming in. After the 1K, we got 297. After the 47, it's 275, but after the 680K resistor, it drops down to about 70 volts. So the plate of the preamp uh, is running at 70 volts. I don't know if we can reduce this uh, resistor at all and increase the gain a bit because um, that's what the amp is lacking. Anyway, there's only one preamp stage because uh, that we've got the tremolo yeah so this these are the two inputs they immediately go to two uh 500k pots and then to the mixing resistors of 180k and then we have a, a circuit a tone bleed of even before we reach the grid of the first uh of the first and the only preamp stage this is where we see this uh, 680k uh, resistor on the plate and um, <clears throat> 2k2 and 50 or one maybe 100 nanofarads on the, on the cathode but also this cathode is connected to uh, the second part of the triode that uh, functions as the oscillator so um, this half of the triode oscillates Voltage goes up and down, modulating the cathode of the preamp, and that's why the volume of the preamp goes up and down like this. Well, Skip Simmons says that mustard caps don't go bad ever. Well, uh, let's check it out. I've, of course, already checked it. Let's move some stuff out of the way. Got the voltmeter connect, volts DC. And uh, if we check, uh, like, this side is okay. I got 200, like almost no. It's like 100 volts, 150 volts on this side. On the other side, we should see zero. And that's cool. That's okay. But if we check this one. You got 92 volts on this side. Check the other side. We still have like 150 millivolts. Seventy volts here. On this side. 200 millivolts, it's kind of okay. Uh, if we check the main voltages, you can see like it's about 300 volts. The second node is 
295 volts and then the third node after the 680k we get like 72 volts that's the plate there's still a bit of storm going on but i still have to clean the tube sockets of course uh, still if i've now connected a 220k resistor in parallel with uh, the 680k um, uh, plate resistor for the preamp stage and this um, brings the, the, the plate voltage up to 140 volts instead of the 40 volts we had initially. It's about the same as we have on the phase inverter, uh, sorry, on the tremolo. Uh, part of the triode, about 140 volts. Back to 680 volts. impression it's got a bit more volume it's got a bit more bass it's got a bit more definition and that's the difference of a 70 volts it's barely audible especially at this volume but still I think it deserves a 100k plate resistor like any other preamp stage and I need to clean those fucking tube sockets well the foot switch for the tremolo is about the craziest piece of machinery I've come across in a long time. It seems to be repurposed from Granny's nightstand. 99 Granny! I actually pulls out the light, but it, uh, of course it's plastic and uh, threading broke already. So look at this. Underneath is uh, like a, a roll of piece, a roll of toilet paper. A rolled together roll of toilet paper toilet paper roll whatever and uh, but um I'll be putting in this one Thank mm -hmm. you. 